In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, adding a new functionality within the case form. So one of the functionality which I'm thinking of adding in this case form in Dynamics 365 Customer Service is a dropdown. So the dropdown won't be a normal dropdown, but then it will have a cascading functionality. So example, so in this form, maybe what I'm going to add is um, uh, a dropdown named as technology. Okay, so the dropdown will have three values, Power Platform, Azure, and Dynamics 365. And once you select technology dropdown, then there will be an another dropdown called as tech components. Now, tech components will be filtered based on the technology. So tech components, if I select Azure, then it will only show these three. If I select Dynamics 365, then it will show only this three. So let's implement this. So in order to implement this, first what we need to do is uh, make sure that you create two different tables called as technology and tech components. Okay, so the first step is to basically create these two tables. Now, let me go back to make.powerapps.com. I'm in the right environment. Go to tables and let me create a table. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'll click on new table and I'll add columns and data. So, so this table name, I'll call it as technology. Let's copy this, put a description, and I'll rename the column name as technology, and I'll start adding the components. So what are the components? There's Power Platform, Azure, and Dynamics 365. So Power Platform, Azure, Dynamics 365. So this is one table and I'll go ahead and create this. So there's one table called as technology. Then there will be another tech, uh, table called as tech components. So once this is created, I will create an, another table called as tech components. So let me go back to table again. Make sure you're in the right environment. Go to new table, add columns and data and you create that table called as tech components. And over here, what I'll do, I'll not add one by one, but I will copy this, okay? So there are nine records. So maybe I'll just add, say, nine rows, okay? And just paste this. And this is how you uh, add a record. So maybe I don't want this record, so that's fine. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this, okay? So delete one record and delete this record. And that's it. I'll click on create. So now we have two tables, technology and tech components. Now for this case form, this is the case form which I see over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the back end and try to edit this form. So how do you do that? So you go into the table of case forms and then within forms, you go into the right form. The form over here is the case form, which is a form type of main. I'll click on it and I should be able to edit the form. Now here, uh, you want to add those two uh, tables, basically. Now, how do we add those tables here, okay? But before we even add that, what we need to do is like we can't directly reference that. So maybe we need to again go back into the uh, backend, like say tables uh, for the case tables. So if I go into the case table, let me go to case table and let me add a lookup. Okay, so this is a case table. I'll add a column, okay? So I'll go to the columns and it's technology. Data type is lookup. Related table is technology. I can see technology over here. I'll click on save. Now that's the first table, first lookup we have added in the case table. Second uh, column, which I need to create in the case table is the technology components, right? The tech components. So once this is saved, let me add another column. Tech components. Again, this will be a lookup. A 
and this will be lookup for tech components. I'll click on save. Now we have two columns pointing to the table, but those are not filtered as of now. Okay. So once it is done, once it is saved, let me go back and open the form again. So if I go to the case, I'll open the case main form for editing. And here I will add those two columns. So I was just editing the wrong form. So the uh, the form name was case for interactive experience. So once you edit this form, I have added these two fields uh, and before timeline. So you can see over here. And once you save this and publish, then you should see the changes being updated in this particular page. So now here you see both the drop down. Now let's look what we have in technology. So if I click here, I can see Azure Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. So let me select Dynamics 365. And under tech components, now we can see everything. Now we don't want all this thing to be visible over here. What we want is Dynamics 365 should only show customer service and project service automation and sales and so on and so forth. So how do we do that? How do we make that filtering? So first thing, what you need to do is you need to have those relationship established. Okay. So if you go into the tables, uh, now remember we created two tables, right? Tech and tech components. So technology is good, but if you go to tech components, you need to add some sort of a lookup in technology component. Now this is the child table. I would call it as a child table. Now, under this tech components uh, column, which is referencing this case, we need to go into the table, look into the backend table, which is like a tech components, and go in this tech components and add a column, which will be a lookup to the parent. Okay, so what essentially we are doing is we are going in this table, we are adding a column. Okay, we are adding a column and that column will point to the technology table. Okay, so what we do here is say new column and tech components. And I'll just copy the description, go to data type, look up, look up, and it will look to uh, technology. So technology. I'll just save this. And once that relationship is established, then you can start uh, referencing those over here. So uh, this is like basically which technology are you pointing out to? So Azure is being pointed to Azure, Azure Storage Account pointed to Azure, and Customer Service Dynamics 365, Dynamics 365, Power Automate, oh sorry, Power Apps would be Power Platform, Power Automate would be Power Platform, Power BI, Power Platform, Project Service Dynamics 365, Sales is Dynamics 365. So this is how you set up those relationship. Now, this is good. Let me come back to this table uh, form over here. Let me refresh this for a moment, okay? Now, we need to establish that relationship between uh, these two dropdown. So first dropdown is a technology dropdown, which is fine. You can't do anything about it because that's what you want, the, all the value from that table to be loaded. So there won't be any change in the technology dropdown. However, for the tech components, you want it to be filtered by technology. So what you need to do, you need to select this dropdown. And over here, first thing, you need to remove this, uh, put this checkbox which says disable most recently used items, okay? And under filtering, if you go to filter, you just say filter by related rows. Now, what is a relationship? Relationship is we have just established that relationship with the technology, right? Now, under technology, which column? The tech components column, right? Because if you go here, we have created this tech components column, right? So we are pointing to this. Now, come here, 
just save and publish once you do that you just need to go to your form and then start refreshing it Okay, so I think it's refreshed now. So for technology, let's pick up a technology, say Azure. And now under tech components, let's see what gets loaded. Now, if we see only Azure related technology gets loaded because now it is filtering based on the technology component column. Similarly, if you select other technologies in the Power Platform, then you will only see Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. So that's how you do a cascading dropdown within your uh, dynamic CRM form or any model driven app. So to recap, what we did, we wanted to implement this. So first thing what we did is we created a table called as technology. We created a table called as tech components. We went to this case form, which is a case for interactive experience form. It can be any form, whatever form you use. Then you created two columns, technology and tech components. Technology column is a basically a lookup to the technology table. Tech component is a lookup to the tech components table. However, in tech components table, what we have done is we have added another column called as tech components and which added acted as a lookup to the technology table. And we have pointed this in while configuring this tech components lookup. So here under filtering, we have added filtered by related rows and have selected the relationship and relationship to this lookup table. And this is how you uh, implement cascading dropdown in Dynamics 365 customer service or any model driven app. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.